What's up, Deep Webbers? We are having episode three coming out today. I want to mention happy 4th of July to all those wonderful Americans out there and to my fellow Canadians. Yes, I am half Canadian. Happy Canada Day. It was July 1st for those of you who do not know. So today we are going to explore the Deep Web in episode three of Deep Web Chronicles. What I will find, we really don't know. I've been working really hard to find a deep web video and as I am doing this I am still searching for that deep web video so hopefully by the end of the video we'll have one for you. If not my deepest apologies but you're gonna have to stick with this episode in order to see that deep web video. I'm not gonna say when because why? I want you to watch until the end of this episode. Until then, if you click up here, you will be able to watch episode one of Deep Web Chronicles. I forgot what it was called for a second there. And if you click up here, you will be able to see episode number two of Deep Web Chronicles. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And without further ado... I'm hoping this works. Uh, for some reason, I'm having a really hard time with screen recording and getting my video to go up. But what we have here is called Nightmare Girl. It is a rabbit hole. So I'm going to click on these links and see where it takes me. Come on. In here now. And this rapes my eyes. For those of you guys who get offended easily, I do apologize. Uh, this is one of those <laughs> things where I just, I don't know until I go into it what's what's going to happen. So obviously this is not a very nice site. Um, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be edgy. Uh, if you look at the source code, there's really nothing ab abnormal in it at all. It's pretty... Pretty straightforward. I mean, I don't see anything that's catching my attention. So, yeah. So I'm going to click on this, and that, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that out, folks. Uh, Facebook will not allow me to show this, nor, trust me, do you want to see this. It's male Gentile with, genital, sorry, with um, an anus. Yeah, so I will be editing that out. <laughs> so, yes, you guys. This is Nightmare Girl, as it is truly a nightmare, and I could have gone my entire life without seeing that going on the deep web. There's a lot of times that you see stuff that you really wish that you would have never seen, and this is one of those moments. So I am going to close out of that, and we are going to go to Intel Exchange. Intel Exchange is an awesome site that I actually... I enjoy quite a bit. There's different things on it. It's a forum and you can find pretty much anything you want on Intel Exchange. You can find stuff that's not supposed to be shared. You can find things that is supposed to be shared. And let's look at some stuff to explore. All right, we all know that Pizzagate is not about pizza. It is about porn and I personally do not want to see any porn. I just seen enough of it a few minutes ago. That was quite disturbing and disgusting. All right, and I, I'd also like to point out that this site is an older site. It's actually a mirror because I couldn't get into the actual Intel Exchange. It's been taken down for some reason. So all this stuff is like going back as far as 2017. I have not found anything in 2019 that I could show you. So intelligence web pages. Let's look at that, see what happens. It 
seeking intelligence web pages. Individuals are incapable, but resident incapable of presenting any web pages that are similar to Sin. Would also like to uh, such links. I know about Cryptome. We explored Cryptome in one of my other uh, websites. Anyone serious becomes a target. Most agencies, even though they search the dark and deep web, often won't put a presence on them because they operate in their own networks. If you are, are any good with web design, I would suggest hosting your own page. It's so different to find a clean source. Oh, it's so difficult to find a clean source. Hooked on phonics did not work for me. No, no, it did not. There are tons, but here is one thing. Krypton alone exceeds... 50 gigabytes in data. How can one person, obviously without analytical background, want more? For what purpose? If you're not using the intelligence that is available to you, why would you collect more? That's a correct dilemma even some of the NSA spooks mention. Onset is the future. It's all out there. Professor, how would you define a clean source? And how do you analyze the raw data that this source provides? A clean source is anyone who isn't compromising its implied promise to users. It's hard to find websites that aren't Russian, Chinese, or American fronts. Every so often, a decent website pops up and users will flock to it, only to find later the owners change the succumb to pressure from less overt powers. And it's true, when you're, when you're surfing the deep web especially, a lot of the time you'll find things in Chinese or you'll find things in Russian or, of course, English. And... You hardly find anything in any other language like French and Portuguese. I mean, obviously on hidden WikiLeaks, there are websites there, but as far as intelligence goes, those are the main countries. It could be because uh, they are the biggest countries. They are the most dangerous countries to the nation as of present. Um, so it's really... Interesting to see some of these insights about the intelligence in the different countries on this particular site. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to have to shut the door because my dog is barking and it's really annoying. And she came in and she opened the door. You guys, men pins, they're a bundle of joy. A bundle of joy. OPSEC information guides. Notice in the past two months or so, I cannot read this because it's in the way. Uh, some older members of the IE have been asking questions on how to stay safe on the internet. From this, I have made an in-depth guide to compiling many of the best guides together. The guide itself is titled the 2016 Internet Survival Guide. Yeah, that's out of date now, guys. They are sorted in the table of contents and file itself, 49 pages. The majority of all questions can be answered in this file and can be easily located through the table of contents. Everyone can learn something from the guy, even though it will be much more useful to those who uh, have not thought about increasing their offset. Okay, so anybody who's into internet security, it's important. Especially nowadays, it's very important. So, let's see what else we could find. Let's look for something fun. Actually, this looks for, need a password descriptor cracker. Does anyone have a reliable link download? Can you give more information? What kind of passwords are you trying to crack or hash? Passwords are you trying to brute force? Okay, so somebody wants to learn how to hack. Mm, they should probably go to school for that, huh? Or there's also many websites out there that will actually teach you how to hack too. Um, I am looking for something fun. Mysterious website. 
Looks to be like some kind of puzzle. Anyone want to take a shot? Let's see if this still works. Now, what I've covered in previous videos, or the last two videos at least, is that on the deep web, things disappear a lot. So what may have been up in 2016 may not be up now. However, it looks like it's up. And it looks like a bunch of dice. So we have five, five, four, one, five, two, one, two, one, six, four, six, one, three, four, two. No, more secrets lie here, but not in plain sight. So it's taken us to a clear link website. Or a clear net website. HTTP. Come on, guys. I'm MS Shark. Shark error. All right, so basically it's just a POV ray, all sorts of POV ray related stuff by Michael Scharrer, including collection of scenes and SS or SCC5 re-rendering free source code and downloads are always included. All right. And we have hexadecimal codes. Very, very interesting. This is an interesting site. I mean, obviously, I don't have a whole lot of time to to try to figure this out. If you're into this kind of stuff, um, yeah, let me know what it is below, because I am curious. This isn't hexadecimal, so excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, at least I don't think it is. It may be, but yeah. Michael's top secret page. Very interesting to say the least. Let's see what else we could find. I think so far this is like the coolest site that I found on here. What is this? Can someone please explain what this is? I registered and logged in, but it says you are logged in and doesn't take me anywhere. Let's see what it is. Let's see if it's even active. It's supposedly the Illuminati. And it's taken forever to load. So I'm going to say that's a dead site. Hmm. 
information building, any fun onion websites. Yes, please give me something fun. Something not so serious. Something to make us laugh. Hilarious. <laughs> Judging by, yeah. <laughs> Is this a rabbit hole? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Does not appear to be a rabbit hole, but I did indeed get a little bit of a laugh off of it. I did, I did, I did. See, I found this website hilarious. Deep web in a nutshell. Okay, once again, I think that's a dead link. Leaked FBI documents. I want you guys to meet this little guy. He's eating a blanket in the middle of filming. So this is, where can I find some FBI documents about behavioral analysts or profiling? Also, if you have recommendation of books, documentaries, PDF, audio, maybe software, any suggestions? Thank you. Well, you know what, you guys? There's this thing called college. And if you take like a psychology class, uh, they teach you that kind of stuff. It's amazing. Huh. It's pretty amazing. So, guys, this is basically Intel Exchange. Um, anything and everything that you could want to know. YouTube video death. I don't think we want to see that. Have you guys ever heard of Shadow Web? And if so, do you have any links? What sets the Shadow Web apart from the Dark Web? Pretty sure the Shadow Web is something myth mythologized, like mythologized English hard ever since to gain more public presence, which is unfortunate, just like the Marina's Web. Uh, I could be wrong, but a lot of false information has spread simply for the sake of spreading mysterious rumors. Deep web, dark web, shadow web, all the same. The shadow web is a hoax. If you searched around a bit, you could find hidden services such as the entrance to the shadow web. However, they are merely jokes. The idea of the shadow web, much like the marina's web, is that it is a separate network than Tor and supposedly contains worse, worse content. However, it has been said this is... This idea has only appeared recently and there is no real information on it, which sounds suspiciously like a hoax. Okay, so it probably is a hoax because there's things on the deep web that are hoaxes or have been have not been proven real, such as red rooms. Anybody who has spent any time on the deep web would know that a live stream would take forever to do because the deep web is so freaking slow. Um, it's a hoax. It's a honeypot. And besides, if you want to watch that shit, you're sick. Excuse my language, but you are sick. So, 
there's that. Okay, so if you have epilepsy, you may want to fast forward through this. This is a YouTube video, but I found the link on the deep web. I'm still having a difficult time finding deep web videos. So if you actually have a good deep web video that you would like me to play, send me the link and I will certainly check it out. So I'm going to start this video. It is a art project, an edgy art project. Um, and it comes from The Void. It's a new account. There's 16 subscribers, 86 views of this particular video. You should check it out. It's pretty edgy. Um, so here we go. Chicken? Now she's dragging a dead body. And this concludes Deep Web Chronicles. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Click on notifications if you'd like. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I, I am here to entertain you. Uh, it is a little bit of a shorter uh, video than I would have liked, just for the simple fact that I was having a hard time getting my computer to screen capture. So if you have a good app for that too, that would be great to know, because I'm telling you what, I am getting pretty frustrated over here. Uh, I'm also a full-time student, so it... It's somewhat inconvenient when my computers are not working well. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, please smash that like button. Click subscribe. Help me out. I really want to get this series going. Um, I'm hoping to be able to release one at least once a week, uh, provided my schedule is free. And you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much.